Hey everyone, welcome back to Terminator Gardens. Today we're diving into the fascinating, often misunderstood world of scorpions to talk about a striking species, the striped devil scorpion. Here's an interesting fact, the striped devil scorpion is not nearly as dangerous as the name suggests. While it does have a painful sting, it is not considered lethal to humans. Unlike some other scorpion species, its venom is primarily used to subdue prey rather than defend against larger threats like us. The striped devil scorpion is a medium-sized species that typically grows to around 2-3 to three inches in length. One of the most recognizable features is the two dark stripes that run along its back, giving the scorpion its stripe moniker. Its body is usually a light brown or yellowish color with pincers and a tail that have a more reddish or darker brown tint. Like all scorpions, it has a segmented tail tipped with a venomous stinger and a pair of large powerful pincers that it uses to grasp prey. Another interesting feature of the striped devil scorpion, as with most scorpions, is that it glows under ultraviolet light due to a substance in its exoskeleton. The striped devil scorpion is native to the deserts of the southwestern United States, particularly in Arizona, as well as parts of Mexico. These scorpions are well adapted to dry, arid environments where they thrive in sandy or rocky areas with plenty of crevices and debris to hide in. During the heat of the day, they stay hidden under rocks or in burrows to avoid the harsh sun. At night, they become active hunters using the cover of darkness to search for food. Despite living in hot, desert climates, these scorpions can survive with little water, getting most of their moisture from prey they consume. Striped devil scorpions are nocturnal, coming out after dark to hunt for food. They are solitary and territorial, relying on their pincers and stingers to capture prey. The diet consists mainly of insects like crickets, beetles, and spiders, but they are opportunistic hunters and will eat other small invertebrates as well. They use their pincers to grasp prey and their venomous sting to paralyze it before feeding. In terms of behavior, the striped devil scorpion is not particularly aggressive towards humans. If you're thinking about keeping a striped devil scorpion as a pet, they can be a fascinating and low maintenance choice. They require a simple enclosure, typically a 5 to 10 gallon tank, depending on the size of the scorpion. The tank should have a substrate like sand or a sandy soil mix along with some rocks or pieces of wood to create hiding spots. Since they are desert dwellers, you'll want to keep their environment dry with humidity levels between 30 and 50 percent. The temperature in the enclosure should range between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, with a slight drop at night. Provide a shallow water dish for hydration, but be careful not to over mist the enclosure as too much moisture can lead to health issues. Striped devil scorpions are solitary animals and it's best to house them alone. They can be territorial and may fight if kept with other scorpions, even of the same species. Striped devil scorpions make great pests for those looking to observe interesting and unique behaviors without a lot of upkeep. They don't require much handling. In fact, it's best to handle them as little as possible due to the risk of getting stung. When cleaning their enclosure or moving them, use long handled tools to avoid direct contact. While their sting is not life threatening to most humans, it can cause significant pain, redness, and swelling. And that's a wrap on our introduction to the striped devil scorpion. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. See you next time.